Hey, hi. How are you beautiful people doing on this fine day? First and foremost, happy 4th of July. This is like a day or two before the 4th of July, but ah, fuck it. Happy 4th. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Before we get started with this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my fucking homies. The guys I've known for such a long time now. Casper, Matt, Aaron, Caleb, Jill, and of course the Chub Master Corey. A lot of you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but that's okay. This is just for them. Now, I'm sure many of you guys have seen by now, but yes, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite anime characters, light novel characters to ever be created, Othinus. Now, before I get into why Othinus scale is higher than this stupid fucking monkey, I want to talk about two things, maybe three. Also, apparently you guys like it when I fucking shit on Xeno Goku fanboys, so this is for all of you fucking beautiful people out there. The first thing I want to address is that the fan base for Xeno Goku are all just absolutely stupid. Like everyone who likes Xeno Goku has the actual IQ of a fucking cactus. All you motherfuckers are dumb as shit. Literally, no fucking intelligence can be seen from any of you motherfuckers. Now look, I don't remember if you guys remember this, but I showed a picture of this fucking unintelligent life form who couldn't fucking tell me what five divided by zero is. You guys don't remember what that was? Don't worry, guys. I fucking got you. Look at this shit. He said five divided by zero is fucking five. Like, dude, there's no fucking mercy. Everyone here is gonna get fucking shit on. You guys are the literal embodiment of fucking stupidity. Also, who is this little fucking dick sucker that upvoted this fucking tool's comment? This whole entire thing of this fucking dumbass troglodyte not being able to fucking do simple mathematics is just the funniest thing in the fucking world. I actually went to my fucking homie Casper. Like, my boy Casper is fucking amazing. What a fucking fantastic dude who's not stupid. His fiance is an expert in mathematics. She has a master's in mathematics and math. She's actually a teacher of some sort. So I had to send this shit to Casper so he could send it to her. And do you guys want to know what she fucking said? She said, and I quote, okay, let's take this back to elementary math. If you have five apples and you divide them among zero people, how many apples does each person have? But bro, like what the fuck do you have to say to that? You're going to fucking sit down in front of your fucking $2 monitor and tell me five divided by zero is still fucking five? So hey, what happens if you put 5 divided by 0 in your iPhone calculator? I bet you get a fucking error because the answer is fucking undefined, you jackass! Shout out to Casper. Buddy, I fucking love you. You too, Matt. And Aaron. Maybe you, Corey. Okay, for real, last question for this fucking reject of a human being. How many strings does the guitar have? I'll wait 5 seconds. Oh, that's right. You can't even do simple math. I, I forgot. I'm sorry. Having you count to fucking six is just impossible. I'm, I'm so sorry for giving such, such a hard task to do. You couldn't even tell me what some of the most basic formulas of physics are. You probably don't even know anything about physics, let alone what a fucking vector is. Also, I play the guitar, but I bet you can't play the guitar because there are more than five strings on the guitar. Also, you can't play the guitar because you're just untalented. You know, you're just not talented like I am. I know you beautiful people like what you heard on the guitar. Yeah, that's right. That was me. What's up? Hey, uh, so can you tell me how many, uh, strings are on the, uh, guitar? Oh, guys, we are far from being done. We're just getting fucking started. Remember when I said the whole entire fan base of Xeno Goku are just filled with kids who are just actually genuinely stupid? This kid said, reaction speed equates to the IQ. So when he transforms, his IQ increases. Talk to me when you get out of kindergarten. Oh, really now? Goku's IQ increases? Increases as he powers up? Okay then, why the fuck does this fucking dumbass bitch still get fucking bodied if his IQ increases? If his IQ really increased, he should be able to do more intelligent stuff than fucking do the same fucking move every single goddamn time in a fucking fight!
Every time he is powered up in the anime, manga, whatever it may be, nothing has changed. Man, I wish your fucking IQ would increase. You're telling me to get out of kindergarten? Bitch, please! At least I went to kindergarten. At least I know how to fucking divide five by zero. Your fucking dumbass is still at your fucking $2 house because you didn't even get the chance to go to school. You're a fucking homeschool little bitch. That's why your intelligence mid as fuck, bro. <laughs> The last comment I want to look over is this fucking degenerate right here. First, he says that the Dragon Ball universe is infinitely boundless. Let me debunk this shit real fucking quick. If the Dragon Ball universe really is fucking infinite, why the fuck does it have a center as it says right fucking here? Why are there fucking edges? Oh, because the universe is not infinite. Also, there are many other scans and pictures I can use and show. Like, I'll show a couple right now. But dude, this shit's just been fucking debunked. The Dragon Ball universe is not fucking infinite. Look. I understand all you Goku fanboys have fucking zero brain cells, but if something is at the center of a universe, or if a universe has an edge, that means that it's not fucking infinite. Guys, I lost a lot of brain cells reading over some of those comments. I need to listen to some music real quick. You know, some good old fashioned metal. As many of you guys know, I love metal core. I love screamo. I love all that type of music. So give me one second. I'm digging myself out of this graveyard. Digging myself out of this graveyard. I shovel. God, I love this band so fucking much. Guys, if you like this type of music, go check them out. This song was called Graveyard. Their link to their YouTube channel and their link to the video is in the description. I highly suggest you go check them out. And of course, like their shit. And their music's fucking fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the one YouTube channel where we're talking about Accelerator all day, every day. I hope you guys like seeing those fucking stupid ass comments those dumbass wanker Goku kids left. Although, this will be probably the last video I talk about Goku for a while. I really just want to get all this shit out of the way and debunk and say a lot of shit about Goku as like a one last video type thing. So let me get this straight. So because Gohan can do trigonometry, that means that they're infinitely boundless. Bro, are you missing a few chromosomes? Last video, like always, I had a pixelated picture. Here it is when it's pixelated and here it is when it's not pixelated. The person who got this anime correct first was The Green Hood. The character this week was Kanan from the anime Kanan. I'm probably butchering her name, but fuck it, I don't care. I love this anime. It's a classic for me personally, and I just, I don't know, there's nothing much to say. It's a classic for me. I love it. Now, before we get into why our beautiful goddess Othinus actually fucking shits all over Dragon Ball and the whole entire Dragon Ball universe, multiverse, series, whatever you want to call it. I want to talk about Accelerator real quick. Yes, that's right. We're talking about Accelerator and Openness in the same video. It's fucking great. As many people know, I've done a video about Xeno Goku already, and I've already debunked him to 6D and maybe 7D max. He might even get to 10D as a max. It doesn't fucking matter. He is basically what I'm trying to say is he's not boundless and he's not above fiction. I want to show you why Accelerator actually scales higher than Xeno Goku. As I said before, Xeno Goku is probably probably capped at a multiversal level or a multiversal feat in terms of power. NOT BOUNDLESS! And why he's only capped at 60, maybe 70 to 10D. I had to say this twice or a couple times over because again, Goku fanboys have the IQ of a fucking can of tuna! Now, but with all that being said, you're thinking, well, where does Accelerator scale? Listen closely. First of all, I want to shout out to all my huge buddies in my fucking Discord server, which you guys should join right now if you like to talk about anime and shit. Link will be in the description. But a huge shout out to my boy 1UP, 
level zero and a listen closely nerds we can scale accelerated to high hyperversal but where is the proof for this i don't even know why i'm telling you this to begin with because you already know this but accelerator reflected the attack called the flaming magic sword by corazon this attack was stated to rival gungnir now but how does this put accelerator at hyperversal i'm only gonna say this once because this also applies to oathness in terms of scaling let's get a little bit more serious now first thing i want to cover is why accelerator and Oath in a scale higher than Xeno Goku, and that's mainly because of wave functions. Wave functions are a huge part in this whole entire debate. But before I go into this any further, I just want to say again a huge shout out to my fucking boys, one up level zero and egg. And of course, I forgot to say this last time, but my boy Right Hand Lad. These four people are just amazing. Right Hand Lad's YouTube channel will be in the description. Go check them out. Like I was saying before, wave functions exist in the Tawaru universe, therefore, that automatically gives it an infinite dimensional structure but how do we know that there are wave functions in the Tawar universe that gives it an infinite dimensional structure the answer is because of schrodinger's theory i'm not going to fully explain what the theory is but here is a picture of schrodinger's theory as you can see and read for yourself actually hold on sorry wait 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 let me read this for you fucking dumbass goku rejects it says schrodinger quantum mechanics is formulated as an infinite dimensional hamiltonian system whose phase space carries an additional structure uncertainty structure to account for the problematic character of the theory so to recap for you dumbass goku rejects since right here Komi talked about schrodinger's theory that establishes that schrodinger's theory exists in the Toru universe since that exists in the Toru universe we know that wave functions also exist in the Toru universe shocker right now that we know that it exists we know that this whole entire universe has an infinite dimensional structure this shit already proves that accelerator scale is higher than fucking Goku because Goku is capped at 7 to 10 D not Boundless! Accelerator scales higher as again he reflected the flaming magic sword, which was powerful enough to rival Gungnir. Gungnir here was able to destroy the multiverse and all of its dimensions. You hear what that says? All of its dimensions. Not a few, not one. All! This automatically makes Othin as high hyperversal in terms of scaling, which is leagues higher than that fucking degenerate monkey. Othin is scaling higher than Xeno Goku is already GG's in of itself. But let's be real, 100% full power. Our oathness would absolutely fucking wreck this dumb c Fuck his immortality. She controls everything and she can manipulate everything. Goku can't do shit. Remember what I said before in my Xeno Goku vs. Accelerator video? Xeno Goku doesn't have resistance to law manipulation. Even if he did, Demigrod was weak as fuck. He doesn't even compare to Othinus' level and power. Are you kidding me? Are you stupid? Normally, I wouldn't need to even say anything about Othinus' abilities with Gungnir aside from her reality warping, but no, we're gonna keep going. But let's talk about her Lance Gungnir. Her Lance has five objectives and here they are. Her crossbow black can appear from any direction instantaneously. The reason why this is so important is because this attack bypasses the restriction of the third dimension and this attack ignores the concept of numbers. I'll get back to that later. But let me break this fucking shit down for you idiot. Her crossbow is the world and her bow was also so powerful enough that the phase that it was being used in was creaking. No one can escape Gungnir. Yes, as it says, no human can. I know Goku isn't really human, but honestly, even if he isn't human, that shit doesn't even fucking matter compared to Othinus, as once she scales higher than him, and on top of her scaling higher than Xeno Goku, Othinus is just way more powerful than anything he could do. Also, I'll get to why all the attacks will hit Goku later on. But again, I want to just remind you guys that Othinus can literally manipulate everything but listen this attack ignores the concept of fucking numbers that's fucking absurd i just can't get over that fucking fact once again i'll get more into that later but i just it's so fucking crazy that an attack does that the attack of her lance leaving her hands puts her speed of the lance at infinite speed also when she lets go of her fucking lance time fucking stops do you know what that means that automatically puts any of her attacks at infinite speed in order for you to stop time you need to be traveling infinite infinitely fast nothing can travel faster than light without gaining infinite mass and energy according to einstein's theory of relativity that automatically puts othinus's speed of the lance at infinite speed goku isn't fucking infinitely fast stop fucking lying and saying that he is also i want you guys to remember this shit goku cannot move and stop time oh what you think goku can move and stop time because of his fight with hit this fucking discount looking piccolo doesn't fucking stop time no 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 
no, no. He does not stop time. And I have a fucking perfect example to show you on why he does not stop time. Back to the lance now of what I was saying before. The lance can hit anything if it has numbers. Let me be very clear about this. Remember when I said that this attack ignores the concept of numbers? And oh, by the way, guys, this attack auto locks onto the enemy. In Tegmark's review, everything in the universe, humans included, is part of a mathematical structure. All matter is made of particles in which properties such as charge and spin, but these properties are purely mathematical, as he said. The space itself has properties such as dimensions, but it is still ultimately a mathematical structure that also includes dumbass fucking alien monkeys. This means Othinus can hit anything. But let me explain something to you fucking Goku fanboy. The whole entire Dragon Ball cosmology is a fucking joke compared to the Tawaru series. What's this, you fucking reject? You're fucking crying now because I'm showing you facts and scans that debunk all your fucking bullshit and proving Zeno Goku's a fucking weak character? Oh, what? You guys are so fucking salty now? You guys are gonna fucking bring in God Fusion Goku because Zeno Goku's weak as fuck? Look, Dragon Ball Super Goku and CC Goku also get fucking bodied. I don't need to make a video on that because this just basically sums up everything into one video. But you fucking rats are in so much fucking denying you just can't accept the fact that the Tawar universe is leagues stronger than the Dragon Ball Super Universe. But I know you guys want me to talk about why God Fusion Goku actually gets fucking beat by Othinus. Now here, let me debunk all this bullshit very quickly. God Fusion Goku is not as powerful as people think that he is. So let's break this shit down for these fucking idiots. In the movie he was in, he fused with the audience to defeat Broly. This means he fused with real people and because real people are beyond fiction, that must make this version of Goku beyond fiction, right? First thing I want to say is he fused with a fictional audience member with a fictional Goku. This is what we call a meta-fictional transcendent. This should be enough to shut you fucking idiots up, but we're not fucking done yet. Let's go a step further with this. People think that because we as real people merged with him, we are above fiction, and that he's above fiction. There are a lot of fucking problems with this. Okay, yes, we are above fiction, but we are not above space and time. Fiction to us is fictional. Shocker, right? It is not space, but a piece of paper. The real world and humans are 3D in fictional verses where there are several extra dimensions. We transcend paper, not space and time. That's like me saying right now that I'm fucking boundless sitting in front of my fucking screen recording this video so I can shut all you fucking dumbass Goku bitches up! Guess what? That doesn't really make any sense because I'm not fucking boundless and I have a fucking brain to realize I am not fucking boundless. But we are not transcending time, but fucking transcending meta fictional representation of those characters. I don't need to say anything more. Goku fanboys are literally fucking brain dead ass fucking human beings. You fucking Goku fanboys are like fucking Benson when he gets fucking pissed off and can't accept the fucking fact. I've debunked God Fusion Goku. I've debunked the Dragon Ball universe and how it's not infinite. I've debunked before and many other times and even now why Goku is not boundless and infinite. I have proved accelerating oath in a scale higher than your fucking dumbass monkey. There is literally nothing more to say. I proved to you all my points. I proved to you that oath in a scale is higher in dimensions because of the way function is Schrodinger's theory. Goku dick suckers can't provide proof of anything. They make up bullshit to fit their agenda and their criteria with no facts to back it up and they use Use this information that they think that they have and they twist it to make it seem like they know what they're talking about when they really don't. God Fusion Goku is a perfect example of fucking Goku dick suckers not knowing what the fuck they're talking about. Othinus solos all of Dragon Ball. Every character in Dragon Ball is fucking fodder compared to the Tawaru series. Even Uharu shits all over your fucking Dragon Ball universe. <laughs> Eat shit you ugly fucks! All you Goku families look like fucking Captain Knuckles. <laughs> Guys, I've been talking for a very long time already. I said everything that needs to be said. If you guys enjoyed me talking about how shit the Dragon Ball Super Universe is, the Dragon Ball Heroes Universe, all their characters, and how the Tawaru series absolutely fucking shits on that universe, subscribe. You got nothing to lose. Also, use this video to show all your other dumbass Goku fanboy friends on why the Dragon Ball Super Universe is weak. I would love for you to show them all these fucking facts I presented to them. With that, I'll leave this video off with a beautiful picture of Othinus and, of course, an anime clip. I will We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace. Usagi! 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 Usagi!